Okay, so I am going to show you guys how to do a rapid test. Um, you probably got a Ziploc bag with some items. Uh, two foil packs, one's for the IgG and one is for the IgM. You probably have a dilute, a lancet, or a finger pricker. Yours may look a little different. It may look a little colorful with a little twist top on top. Mine is what they call a spring-loaded, so this is a little bit easier to use. Um, there's probably an alcohol swab and a band-aid. So the first thing you want to do is just take everything out of the bag, lay it all out. And then the next thing is take your foil pack and you're going to want to open it up. It just tears right open. And then you're going to take everything out of the bag. It's going to come with a cassette and a eyedropper or pipette as we call it. So on the cassette, you're going to see that there is a C, a T, and an S. The C is a control line that tells you that the test is valid, and the T is the actual, the whether it be positive or negative, and if it's positive, you're going to see a line, and then S means that's where you put the sample. So set that aside. First thing you're going to need to do is open up your dilute and have it ready. I would set it kind of far away so you don't knock it over. Then you're going to take your alcohol swab. And you're going to clean your finger. You can do any finger on the side here. The side is probably the best spot because it is probably the least painful part. So you're going to take the alcohol and just clean your finger. Let it air dry. You are going to take your lancet. And then you are going to prick your finger. And then you're going to get enough blood out of there to kind of look like a big blob, like a little blob. Take your eyedropper, suck the blood up into the eyedropper. You're going to put it in the dilute, squeeze it in there a few times. Close the dilute with the twist top. Give it a good shake. You're going to open it back up. Take that eyedropper. Suck some of the mixture into the eyedropper. And you're going to put it right next to the little hole next to S. I would put about two to three drops. Don't put too much because it will bleed into the testing area. You don't want it to do that. And then what to know that it is actually working, you'll start seeing kind of a gray line build up into the window, the testing window. And now you just wait about eight, eight to 10 minutes and you will know if you are positive or negative. Another thing to make sure that the test is valid is once this goes all the way up, there is a kind of a bright red line next to the C that is a control line that lets you know that the test is valid and working. And that's it.